I don't know. Interesting. Okay, um... That's the obvious thing. Hammer spots. I do remember there being a hammer spot on the opening island. I don't remember there being anything anywhere else. Oh, I need to go back to a village. Was it that village? I think it was that. Oh, hang on. Oh, yeah. Yee. So is there only two more magic and three more heart containers in? Because that would be nice. Well, so one... Okay, so then there's five more heart pieces. Yeah, five more heart pieces then. me up. Hey, Michael. Hmm. Alright, so how do I snuff the flames? Uh, not hook shots. Uh, arrow. Flame for flame. Fire with fire, fire with fire, right? That's how you're supposed to do it? Uh, you like roasting beef? Uh, magic. Yeah, I recently learned how broken the hammer is mechanically. Not that I ever thought it wasn't broken, but like, I really learned how broken the hammer is. And honestly, as of a build from yesterday is even more broken. Unfortunately. It does something I want it to do, but at the expense of also doing something I don't want it to do. Finding the heart pieces. Sweet. Uh, yeah, level three is essentially done. There's one more puzzle I, puzzle type I might want to put into it. Um, level three is... So level one and two presented interesting, like, dungeon mechanics. Level one with the whole, like, uh, liquid pads. Uh, level two with, like, darkness. But the darkness really wasn't the mechanic. It was the... Like, if I had to throw out, like, a key mechanic that was... Okay, I'm just doing this. If I had to throw out a key mechanic that was key in any dungeon, level one was the liquid pads. Level two is the flaming arrows. Um, both of which are things that are going to be prevalent in future dungeons. Um, but, of course, not every dungeon is going to have, like, a new and super unique mechanic like they did. Um... You know, some of the dungeons are going to just be more stylistic, but utilize mechanics done elsewhere. Um, because, you know, you don't need constant new and fancy mechanics to make a good dungeon. You can use previous mechanics, but in, like, with a new theme and a new style. Like, in level one, the liquid was oil and it was lighting fire. It doesn't need to be oil to fire, you know. It can be... Um, It can be bushes to a forest fire. Eh, that's bad. It's, I don't know. But you, you get the picture. Like, that kind of gimmick can be used in different ways. And, like, the flaming arrows, I had a puzzle idea that I'm like, hmm, this would be pretty nice to have. Essentially, you have, like, an array of torches. And I think most of this can be done in engine. However, one aspect of it might need a basic FFC that literally just checks all combo types on screen, which I have, like, six scripts that do. And then if all the torches are not torches, then trigger screen secrets. Essentially, the idea is you have an array of torches that you need to shoot fire through and light them all. But when you light them, they turn into, like, um, block all 
Uh, combos? Uh, wow, you were fast. So, like, you have to hit... You, you, you would need to trigger them in a certain order in order to actually trigger them all, is the idea. Um, that's the idea, and I thought that level 2 might be a good place to have that. But honestly, I think level 2 is pretty good where it's at. Honestly. I, I don't know how much more. I might, I might add more to it, just because, like... It took me, like, 30-odd minutes to get through the whole dungeon. Um, just playing through it. Now, granted, I foresee, you know, new players. Fire Fortress. Okay. Um, I foresee new players obviously taking longer, but, you know, I want to add more to it. It's definitely going to be... Nice music. A bit more of a combatty dungeon for sure so that aspect is there wow I remember a hint saying watch out for the fake wall or door specifically door I should buy more arrows Wait, level 2? Was I saying level 2? I meant level 3. Yeah, I, I think if I were to change anything, it would be to make level 1 smaller. I foresee that happening at some point. Just making it slightly smaller, I don't know. I just feel like for a level 1, it is quite complicated. And I honestly, I don't think it would be that bad. I mean, obviously, it's going to take a lot of work. I'd have to uproot a lot of it. But, you know, all right. I'm not dealing with that. If you didn't constantly cancel my attacks, I'd stand a chance. All right. How many frames too late was that jump? Well, no, I wouldn't need to uproot it. Just make it slightly smaller. Essentially make the first floor... I probably wouldn't touch the first floor. I would probably only touch the bottom floor. That, that's all I would do. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, like, change much of anything, honestly. Just make it slightly smaller. It, I'm saying if anything. If anything, that's what I would do. Not that I would do anything. But we'll, we'll see. I actually am... Uh, Sheik has convinced me to... Uh, enter into the expo. The uh, Pure ZC Expo coming up soon. So, ooh, nice. So, we'll see. I, I don't even know what I'm going to do for that. Um, I don't even know how the, the expo's format is done. Like, 
do I have to like present live on a Discord call? Can I just make a video? Because obviously making a video or live streaming is my specialty, so I would definitely prefer that. All right, screw you. Oh, it's right next to it. Ooh, that's awkward. That music loop is awkward. Whoops. One more. Alright, uh, did I check ups and downs over here? I went up there. Um, at least this is pretty linear over here. This is nice. I like it when it's linear like this. I can completely write off this whole region of the dungeon. Hmm. But honestly, I'm more interested in doing the expo just because it showcases some of the work that Emily and uh, Moosh have put into the quest. They've enabled me to do a lot of really cool things. And a lot of what my quest has would not exist without them. At least not as well executed as it is. Well, I didn't really want to, but here we are. Uh, well, blue usually means magic. Nice. Oh, you troll. Whoa. Well, I think you pierce. You do not. Oh, I have sword beams now. All right, this is getting out of hand fast. Um, escape. Here they come. Oh, yay. Well, I can do this. Oh, nice. Perfect timing on that. Mm, that's off the map, so... Thank you. Ooh, nice. You're really fast for some reason. Okay, that was very nice. Oh, that's a full refill. Sweet. I really like that. It's bothering me that there's one room there I have not seen. But yeah, I mean... I, I want to... It's not, I don't feel like I'm doing them a favor or anything. It's just really... It'd be really good to show what they've done. Worth. Still say worth. There's a healing spot nearby, so I'm not too concerned. Well, okay, coming back here was kind of pointless. Oh, is this a point of no return? Did I mess up here? Oh, that sucks.
Well, we're going to go back. Um, so I can go up here. The map clearly indicates I can go up and right from there. So let's check this out. Oh, those are fire boomerang triggers, aren't they? All right, cool. Suggest I can go up? Yes, thank you. Uh, do you do that over here? There is no up here. Okay. Worth. Wow, full refill, basically. Uh, wrong way. I mean, there's a healing spot here, so, like... As long as I don't die, I'm fine. Alright, can I hit one of you, please? So, pretty clean so far. That uh, one room is a fiber main trigger. Assuming. There's a lot in there. Sweet. So far, not bad. I had vague memories of this dungeon. I don't remember it being so easy. Hmm. Yeah, I'll bite. Yeah, I kind of figured. Something auto killed these things, and I oh, it was fire, right? I'm gonna assume the only other way you can kill them is the old fashioned way with giant bombs, which, <laughs> no. Hi. You can't pass my impenetrable wall of fire. Alright, well, this is not effective unless they're charging. The thing is, what y you have a health pool, and what fun are pools unless you jump in? Not that I like taking damage, but it's a pool. So apparently that room was nothing. I feel very fulfilled. Thank you, game. Oh, 
Okay, so no key. You don't suggest I can go up, which is a real shame. Are you telling me I should fall here? Well, I literally can't do anything else, so... And honestly, this is a refill gauntlet, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, look at that. Jeez. Not bad for money, also. Okay, I want to keep all but one. Okay, so I need one key to proceed onward. Oh, shoot. Okay. Thanks for the tip. Thanks for the tip. I'll be right there. Well, not quite yet. Is that right? Well, then I guess you wouldn't mind burning slowly. Shoot. I should have checked. All right. I'm up here now. Okay. Okay, so both of those rooms right there are warp rooms. One took me right there, and the other one took me up here. Okay. Yeah, I'm full of magic. I thought that was a soft lock. Wow. I Because I shot magic up there at first and it didn't hit. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Well, arrows might have worked. All right, well. I guess I should have assumed that since there's something in the lower left that odds are there's something in the lower right. Thanks for the refill room. Man, you were making level 8 sound like a doozy, man. Uh, well, I'm actually a little upset. It's okay here. Uh, well, I think I know how to fall quickly. Yeah, I never even checked that. No, I did that. Wait for a while in a hot and dangerous place. That is incredibly vague. Oh, I thought you, you were... You, well, you didn't say level 8 would be hard, but you were like, level 8, oh boy. At least I thought you were. Yeah, also, that guy's hint is actually kind of useless. Every single room in here is a hot and dangerous place. Okay, well, thought I can eye frame through that. I think this was a key, or it was a room up to the right. All right, so it's up to the right. Right. So that's the room I need to get to. Okay. And I mean, you said something like, oh, it's level eight time, here we go. You know, it made, made me think that you were implying level eight would be a doozy. I mean, I'm not going to sit and wait in every room with fire. Unless it's, like, clearly marked, you know?
Hey, this is a shame. Uh, I mean, that was a pretty dangerous place. Oh, that's how you get to the boss. Okay. Hmm. Well, that's good to know. All right. Uh, whoops. The lock door was open. Okay. Awesome. Hmm. You're gonna have to give me the fire boomerang soon, otherwise I'm running out of uh running out of ideas. That that's that's clever. Okay, this is bloody tears. If if you're saying it's one or the other, it's got to be bloody tears. Like it, it's hard to say, but th there's a couple parts of it that really make me think it's one over the other. Okay, so I think there was only one fiber ring thing. Maybe two? Well, where did that warp took take me? That took me up there. I don't think that did anything else for me. I think this is my only option. How much damage? Decent. Well now, we have options. Uh, this is hard to decide. They all kind of lead to dead ends. All right, well. I'm stuck. Fantastic. I should have known not to go this way. There was multiple ways that that could go. Well, I mean, I guess either way is like that. Where did I go? Uh, from there. Okay. I mean, I'm just gonna have six. We're done here. Basically. Whoa. Cool. That eh, wasn't too bad. I blocked the fire. Sweet. Uh, 
Uh, Fire Gliok, right? I mean, technically, Oh, of course, you were the head that shot at that very moment. Nice. Just to confirm. All right. Cool. Fun. That was actually pretty fun. <laughs>